And a lot of hugs for Stuart Skinner. He was the one that coughed that puck up to Deneau to tie the game. 4-4 in the third period. He gets bailed out by Yamamoto. That big hug right there says, hey, I got your back. That's what it's all about. So many storylines going into this series. The second straight playoffs that these two teams met in the first round. Yeah, a lot of respect between these two teams, Singer. Obviously, you see each other two times in a row in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. You don't like each other, but you respect each other because you know it's a battle. This one, again, right down to the wire as the Los Angeles Kings found a way to come back and tie this game a couple of times to force the Oilers to score that late goal by Yamamoto to win it. And that's what it's all about. And this will carry over for years. These types of matchups between two rivals, they just don't go away. And the storyline of the coaches, Todd McClell, the mentor, and Jay Woodcroft, the mentee. The rookie goaltender, Stuart Skinner, and the new goaltender on the other end was Corpus Allo. Seven game series in 2022 and the Oilers finished the job here. In six games. A couple of new faces with Kevin Fiala coming into the Kings lineup. But it is Kyler Yamamoto the series clinching goal the game winner here in game six. Yeah, and right here, you could just see the respect. You go out there and you give it your all, you punish your opponent, but when it's all said and done, the handshakes, I mean, this is just something that you go to war on that ice, and afterwards you shake hands and say, hey, great job, way to try. Corpus Allo was outstanding in this series. Evanson had to fight to get pucks by him, but Stuart Skinner and the Evanson Oilers pull it out for the second straight year in the first round over the Los Angeles Kings. And there's defenseman and goalie having a big celebration going off the ice.